Oh my goodness, we're back. Wow, <laughs> this is the fourth time we filmed a Vince Hall this month because we went a bunch right at the end of July. Yeah. And right here at the beginning of August. Um, mm -hmm. But getting a lot of good stuff for reselling. We are gearing up for the fall season, which is usually our best season for sales. Mm -hmm. So, like, we have way too many jackets and coats and things like that. Yeah. That will probably, hopefully, all sell during this fourth quarter. Yeah. I'm already seeing, like, jackets and, like, sweaters selling more, like, in the dead of summer, which is encouraging. Yeah. So. Maybe it might be other resellers trying to do exactly what we're doing. It could be. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm like, I've made my profit. You can go and make yours if you can get it for more or get more. But, right. yeah. Yeah. Well, so we were in Salem, as you saw. Or, let's restart that. So we went back to Salem again this weekend to visit our friends Anna and Espeon. And that same day, we decided to do a little more exploring around downtown Salem, which is actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I've uh, never been down to Oregon's capital before. We got to actually saw the got to actually saw. Mm -hmm. We got to actually see the Capitol building um, in person. That was kind of neat, and they have like an interesting, kind of quaint little downtown area, which we like. Lots of coffee shops and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's weird is it's so close to the bins. We've gone to the bins in Salem, but we've never, like, ventured into downtown yeah. that far. And it's really close. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and we ended up going back to the bins again. <laughs> yeah, we weren't planning on it. We were just like, oh, we're going to have a good day and, like, see our friends. But we did have more time later, and we were like, well, the bins are right here. Yeah. Let's stop by. And we didn't even, like... We were like, well, we don't have any Ikea bags or anything, mm -hmm. um, so maybe we can find bags there. We didn't, but then when we finally got everything to the car, there was one Ikea bag in the back. And we're like, yes! <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was kind of tucked away, so we didn't see it at first. Yeah. So, score, and we filled. Oh, that one, whole Ikea yeah. bag! Oh. Like, a that heavy. Should, that should be the heavy thumbnail. Bag. <laughs> I'm just like pumping iron. <laughs> One IKEA bag at a time. And I'm just like. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So. I yeah. feel like we always find the best stuff when we're just like, oh, we'll stop in. We're not planning anything. Right. And yeah, we're always, not always, but like often pleasantly surprised when we're not expecting much. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get started with it let's then. Let's get into it. Speaking of Jenny from the Block, this is why I have that in my head. And it's this vintage Y2K Wilson's leather coat. And it's literally, like, it reminds me of that music video with J-Lo. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. There was a little $3 tag on it. Yeah. Which is probably about what we paid for it in poundage, like, because it's probably two pounds, maybe? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, like, good condition. And when I looked this up, I love when I can look something up and see an exact comp on eBay that doesn't say boss, best, bossed. Best offer accepted. <laughs> Best mm. offer accepted. It's like the clear, like this sold for full price. It sold for sixty dollars recently, nice. and so I was confident in picking this up. I used to never pick up Wilson's leather jackets, but I'm starting to look into. I think both of us are starting to look into that more. If it's like a desirable style or like funky like this, mm -hmm. um, it's not always worth it because it's pretty common. But leather is valuable. Yes. So. It yeah. is. Especially lamb's leather. True. So this is a pair of We The Free kind of cargo pants. They're actually denim, so they're like cargo denim pants. They're like this heavy, um, like, blue wash, like, black yeah. with blue. It's just, I think they're they beautiful. Might, are they capris, or are they just small pants? Um, I think they're joggers, so they should ideally be um, cinched at the ankle. Ah. Yeah. yeah. So We the Free, there's that tag. Are these vintage We the Free? I don't, I mean, I don't think so. They just look they, kind of vintage. They have that look all the time. 
and I didn't even look up comps when we were there. I was like, this is awesome. It's gonna sell somewhere for a good amount, probably. Um, I did just look it up right now. I saw one listed for 50 and one sold for 38. Not bad. Yeah, and I also might try them for myself. I don't know if that's my style, but I am just like, I love the quality of free people stuff. And I think that that just looks funky and great. So Sweet. Yeah. Yep, good condition. Yeah, I found that like right when we got there, which was a good sign. <laughs> I also found this pair of pants right when we got there. I believe and they're a pair of marmot pants they are oh. these like windbreaker hiking pants pants I think so is that a stain no it's not it's a logo yeah and I saw these like I've got to do more research to see if these are men's or women's I think they are women's um Marmot is yeah. one of those outdoor brands. I would say it's kind of on the same level as the North Face and Patagonia. Mm. Maybe like a little bit less popular. Right. And mm. the Real Real accept this, accepts this item. I honestly, I don't know how much I'm going to be sending into the Real Real because their payouts are pretty small. And like, I've heard people say like, oh, my item just sells immediately after I list it on there. Sometimes that's the case. But usually with items that I'm like, this is just like a stupid, like, I mean, Columbia isn't stupid as a brand, but just it doesn't sell well for us. Or, you know, like you just send in that kind of stuff and I feel like it sits. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's going to be worth it. But if you are interested um, in knowing that, they accept Marmot. Um, yeah, but I think I'm going to be selling this myself. New, I saw one listed for like 100. That was brand new, you know. Um, Pre-owned, probably more in that... 30 to 50 area is what I'm thinking for these. Nice. Yeah. Okay. This is an interesting thing. And before I talk about this, I'm going to preface this with a story. So we were at, it was the Salem bins like months ago, probably two months ago. Oh yeah. And we picked up an old army jacket and um, it was like a green olive colored army jacket with patches and stuff on it. I didn't know exactly what it was, but it looked pretty old. Like, if I were to guess, it was probably from, like, the World War II era. But I was doing research right there at the bins. I had no idea what it was. I couldn't really find it. And while we were looking at it, this old man came up to us. And he's <laughs> like, wow, I can't believe you found one of those. And we're like, okay. Like, <laughs> and so I kind of played, I, you know, I played it cool with him. I'm like, oh, I'm like do you know what this is? And he's like, I sure do. But he wouldn't really tell us. He was being like really vague about it. And he's like, I, I'd buy that off you right now. And we're like, okay. I'm like, so obviously this guy knows what this is and thinks it's something valuable enough that he wants to buy it off of us. We had no idea. We couldn't really find it and we didn't really feel like doing the research. And so we let the guy pay five bucks to buy it off of us. Yeah. And we were like worn down too by the end like we were yeah. sorting through everything and we were really tired and like honestly we just were like non-confrontational and just didn't want to deal with yeah. this guy coming up to us but and after that happened we were thinking about it more and we were like man what was that and why was that guy so excited about that and like it's possible we lost out on a treasure yeah we um, probably shouldn't have like sold it to him <laughs> yeah but you live and learn and like and i know that okay. some like old vintage military s surplus stuff whatever can go for a lot because mm -hmm. they're like antiques and you know, it probably depends on what it is but because of that now every time that we find a old looking uniform we just pick it up and we're going to do more research on it later this we found this looks like a vintage sailor's uniform and it belonged to somebody named Herman Rose. I, I'm i pretty sure that that is somebody's name that's been stitched into this garment rather than a brand. I don't mm. think this is branded. I think this is really, really old. Um, upon some initial research, because there's no tags or anything or any marks that say this is military issue. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a, it's just got like the stars and stripe patterns. And then on the sleeves, it has that. 
little logo and the buttons have little anchors on them which you wouldn't be able to see um, this is made out of wool and yeah I did what I did was I I captured this with Google lens just to see if Google could figure out what it was and like the first thing I saw which I'll throw something up on the screen so you can see was this and this possibly is from the 1920s um, and I just don't know like there's other ones here I'll just I gotta read what this was again because I don't remember yeah so the thing that I saw on 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 Google which I'll show you right now is vintage 1920s Saratoga wool sailor midi shirt and it looks exactly like this except for the front is different so on the front of this sailor midi shirt it's like it's got all of these like insignias and different things and it's possible that this used to have those on it and they just like pulled all the patches off and stuff um but it's still old it's old enough that it's at least probably i would say vietnam era but i bet you it's older than that um i don't know what navy people were wearing during vietnam but possibly world war ii plus possibly 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 world war ii possibly older than that so we're gonna do more research on this um if you're watching this channel and you know exactly what this is please in the comments tell us what it is because some of this stuff is very difficult to research um but yeah that saratoga one that we saw on google they had it listed for over a hundred and um i don't remember it's if like I 150 148 or something and i don't remember if i saw any solds on these kind of things but this is also something that we might try to sell to an antique shop or like i don't even know yeah. we're gonna have to do more research on this but yeah. it's interesting and it's probably really old mm. there was so much old stuff yeah. when we went there was a lot of like vintage clothing and it was so interesting to look at i found like a girl scout like an old girl scout dress yeah. and i looked into it it did have a lot of stains like when i looked closer and you probably could get 20 for that so i was like yeah it's stained i'm i'm good but yeah i don't know much about vintage but that's mm -hmm. a whole animal i mean it looks like it's all single stitch yeah yeah um, beautiful find man if this is actually a hundred years old this is in pristine condition yeah maybe someone just like had it in their closet forever yeah i don't know <laughs> but yeah it's super interesting so we'll be careful with that this was super cool we found this at the end and like ryan just went in we didn't have 25 pounds and we just were like we need to get 25 pounds and so we needed we were like, five more yeah yeah we needed five more pounds and so we were like okay what can we grab there was a newer bin was it new it must or, have been yeah maybe first or second like they brought out wave, a, a whole guess. bunch of accessory bins i love those. full of I purses love and crap. accessory bins yeah um yeah i love accessories i love selling them honestly there was a pink wool beret that like we picked up and I might have gotten something, but I, I didn't keep it. It wasn't for a lot. Anyway, but this, yeah, we, there were a lot of um, purses and stuff. This is Stickman, Stickman leather. leather. And it's really high quality. It's got like that, I don't know if you can see inside the leather. It's just leather lined, like. Like raw leather? Raw leather. Yeah. Yeah. It's like very campy didn't check and outdoorsy and stuff but yeah ryan looked up comps for this and was like well surprised. yeah there was a few different kinds of this brand listed and all of them were pretty good and then the one sold that i found was 125. it wasn't exactly this it was like a kind of a different Bigger, style probably. it was like a crossbody bag which that this is this is too. a crossbody bag but look it's just different oh it's wider yeah it's like a wider satchel looking thing yeah um and I haven't checked Poshmark, but if that sold for 125, I wouldn't doubt this would. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's got a little tag in it. It had an airplane tag. Yeah, Air American Airlines. Used to belong to somebody named Mary Muller. <laughs> interesting. From Portland, or at least flew to Portland. That's very interesting. We find a lot of random things in items. And the other day, I was so happy because I found a $20 bill. Like I was washing these puffer jackets. And 
I like I just looked and on top of them after they were washed it was a $20 bill and I was like all right like I paid two bucks for this so I was really excited um, anyway, so yeah, very interesting what you can find in things. But yeah, this, like, the quality of the leather is really great on this. I love finding out new brands. Like, when you go to the bins or thrifting, you, like, learn about new brands. And then sometimes you realize, like, oh, I might want this for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do this because I found this. Guess what else? We found another St. John Sport. This is a pair of, like, fancy pants. Fancy pants. <laughs> Is anything from St. John not fancy? That's a good no. point. <laughs> um, we did not check comps on these. We just got them. This Honestly, was... they're like because they're pants and they're not like a fancy cardigan or anything. I'm seeing like twenty-ish on eBay. That's it. Yeah, it's kind of like I will look into it more. I just search St. John sport pants. So it's like a diffusion line, I think. I've By seen John. Marie Gray. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just looking on eBay. Maybe they go for more. Goodwill wanted ten bucks for these. Yeah. I don't think Goodwill knows what St. John is. Oh my gosh, this right here is my favorite thing that we found. I found this. Um, it's Brooks Brothers. It says Makers and Merchants Three Ply Scottish Cashmere, 100% cashmere, large, made in Scotland. And it's this like grandpa sweater. I did not see any holes or flaws really. Um, it's, yeah. And so I just think this is funky and I'm like, I might keep this, but if I wanted to sell it, oh my gosh, I was seeing, um, man, from like 40 to 100. Nice. And I, I even, I was searching two ply cashmere. This is three ply cashmere. So it might be like even crazier. I don't know, but I was so excited to find that. This is the softest garment I have ever touched. This is a new with Tags Maurice's, um, what is this, like a cowled sweatshirt? Yeah, and I picked this up because I've noticed that plus size clothing in certain brands has just flown out of my closet. Um, so I wanted to try that more. And I usually stay away from Maurice's but this is it's a double a, X. A double XL. Um, it retailed. It retailed for thirty. For thirty, but I bet I could get fifteen for that pretty quickly come fall. This is so. And it's soft. so soft. This is like unnaturally soft. I know. Like it's made out unnatural. of unnatural. It's Ooh. polyester and spandex. BT Dubs. I was looking at that Brooks Brothers three ply Scottish cashmere, and I'm seeing like eighty five consistently. Nice. There's yeah, yeah. We good. We good. That's crazy. This item I picked up because it's Hannah Anderson, which sells really well. And it is, I don't totally understand all the sizing. Um, it's 130 centimeters US 8. So I think it's, yeah, it's just a girl's jumpsuit. Polka dot, polka dotted. Polka dots. Yeah, come down to oh, okay, right here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't expect to get a lot for this, but it sells pretty well, Hannah Anderson, so. This is a Mountain Hardware quarter zip fleece jacket. Uh, Mountain Hardware is a good brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty basic, but this will probably sell for 40. Is that what you're seeing? I yeah. can look that up. Um, yeah, the sell through was good. I only saw one I think I saw a couple of this exact one sold and only like one listed, so. That's really good. And it was like around 35 to 40. Uh, these are a pair of, they are Prana double XL pants and they have like hemp in them. Oh, are they linen or hemp? I did not look up comps for this, but I feel like they will sell pretty well. We feel like yeah, because this is a plus size and it's like a weird fabric. Yeah. Um, Prana used to be really good. I think now that they have a partnership or something <clears throat> with Goodwill. Is it a partnership yeah. deal? I don't know, but Goodwill bought out a bunch of Prana's old inventory. Mm. What's interesting, though, is that it's pre-owned. Oh. So I wonder, I don't know, but like, do you think they have a program where people send in their pre-owned stuff to get 
um, credit. I don't. I haven't heard anything about that. But I don't know. For some reason, Goodwill has a lot of used Prana items like and tons. some new with tag stuff. Yeah, and we've been seeing it all over in like on different resellers' YouTubes. They find a lot of Prana now. So for some reason, Goodwill is just flooded with Prana. Yeah. And I think because of that, the price of Prana has now decreased quite a bit. Because yeah. there's a lot of it out there now. Yeah, there's certain things that still do well, and like I think they perform similarly from like a few months ago. For example, men's or women's hiking pants mm -hmm. do amazing. Well, as in um, about forty-five dollars, give or take. Um, everything else, it's been about twenty-ish for mm. me. Um, yeah, so you don't pick everything up that's prana. But it still, it still moves. It might be going down though, because, yeah, the more that people have access to it, the less in demand it is. Yeah. Pick this up. This is a Billy Reed um, size medium, a men's polo shirt, and I picked this up. I believe I'm pretty sure Mogi Beth has talked about how she likes finding this brand and how quickly it sells. Um, I looked comps up. I didn't do like a really detailed search into this style. It's kind of blue with... That's a... Um, I think that's a children's hmm? medium. Really? Yeah, it's really small. I don't know. Look at look at how the shoulders are like pretty... I don't know. Maybe it's shrunk. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. It looks like a men's medium to me. I always add measurements into my listings though, so... Anyways. Um, yeah, but I was seeing like consistent sales of like i think it was like 20 25 plus what i'm guessing is that people that wanted to sell it quickly may have priced it down and maybe you could get more but also that's pretty good for just like a t-shirt not a t-shirt just like a short sleeve shirt mm -hmm. so we'll see how that does oh yeah this was a mary wool mary wool mary wool um pullover sweater and this is kind of like a stretchy, like it's almost like smart wool. I think it, maybe they're like a, one of smart wool's competitors or something. Um, but it's like stretchy athletic wool. This is a size, size large. I would probably say women's large. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. Me neither. I just looked at it because I was like, Mary wool, like merino wool is probably in this blend. It and is. It is. It's 100%. Uh, what is it? Super fine. Super fine merino wool. Merino wool. Yeah. And because of that alone, this is probably worth it. Yeah. Um, you know, 100% super fine merino wool. Like, we're looking at, like, icebreaker level of quality, probably. Right. Or smart wool. The only thing is, if it's not a very well-known brand, it might not carry the same demand as those others. Right. But just seeing, like, how quality that is we're like okay this i'm sure someone will be searching that out yeah you may even just put smart wool in the as i a might keyword, as i know a that's keyword. so annoying when people do that because like you know people will oh, if you're a reseller please don't do this like if you do this like what whatever but I, for me and a lot of people it's annoying when people will do a string of brands at the bottom of their listing so that when people search for like Chanel, they'll get like this random like t-shirt or something and it's like not relevant and it like, it's just annoying. So I don't like when people do that, but so, maybe it would be okay in this to be like, this reminds me of smart wool, but mm -hmm. it's not. Like, like in the description, but not in the title. Yeah, cause it's not like I'm just putting here. like random like Chanel, like, no one who's looking for Chanel is looking for this, like, you know, but if someone's searching for smart wool, this, this is, is like similar. similar. Yeah. So I could see that. But sometimes that's annoying if people are just like Johnny was and like Chanel and it's, and it's not. At yeah. All. It's like, hello. Yeah. Um, this, this was a maybe a lot of stuff we get from the bins are maybes. However, mm -hmm. um, this is Lulu's. It is an older tag. It seems like it's a mini dress. It's very mini. Um, yes, swing dress was the word. Um, but it was like a specific kind of swing dress, which I don't remember now. 
Well, you were saying maybe 20, right? Oh, it's a Lulu's groove thing, swing dress, coral. It's a coral. Wow, you, re you remembered that. Yeah, probably 20, honestly, more or less. Yeah. It's funny, yeah, that's more of a filler item. And when we're sorting through things, like, we discard a lot of things that aren't totally worth it. But then in the end, sometimes we're like, why did we do that? We needed just like one more pound and now we got to look through all this stuff. <laughs> so anyway, that was a filler. <laughs> this I found and I'm pretty sure that this is Free People, a Free People brand. It's Endless Love. I may be wrong about that, but I was doing some research and it looks like it. If it's not Free People, then Free People has a line called Endless Love. Or a style name. A style name. But it looks like a Free People dress. I could see it. Um, it oh, it's not a dress, it's a jumper. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, and I don't remember what I've seen for prices. My thought is it's probably, Endless Love is probably a style name that Free People uses, but it's still a good pickup because it's really like just boho and it's a jumpsuit and it's just like very wild and crazy and I feel like we could take this to the consignment shop in the mall and they could feature it and someone would love it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll sell. Yeah. I don't have any doubts that this will sell but I just don't know for how much. Yeah. I think I might just go ahead and like move it on consign it and not try too hard to it seems like a good consignment yeah because consignment loves free people as well mm -hmm. um oh this it's a little dirty have to wash everything um this is a jeffrey star cosmetics tie-dye sweatshirt and i got this if we wanted to sell it it would probably be around 20 um but also our friend really likes Jeffree Star. So I'm gonna see if she might want it. Nice. Noise. Is this Noice. the Harry Potter? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so this is a interesting Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows like windbreaker jacket. And mm -hmm. it's Harry Potter brand. Um, so Harry Potter official. This was something that I picked up when we were like scrounging for extra items. Yeah. And I remembered hearing from Kaylee Elaine that Harry Potter branded stuff does pretty well for her. Hmm. And I usually don't pick up Harry Potter stuff because it's kind of oversaturated, but it looks like this jacket was selling for like 30. Nice. It's more substantial. It's the actual Harry Potter brand, so. Yeah, it's got snap it buttons. Sense. A couple of the buttons are a little worn. Yeah. But yeah, there it is. <laughs> cool. Is this the BKE? Yeah. Yeah, this is a BKE collection or buckle, just black v-neck. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep this for me because this is totally my style. Totally. I don't know how much, probably 15. I Maybe. Need to sell this. Yeah. Buckle doesn't do super well. Especially BKE, I think that might be their in-house brand. Oh. Buckle, yeah, I don't know. But I'll gladly wear that. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. <laughs> this was another item in the scramble. Like a part of the fun is like forgetting what you got and then remembering when you like pull it out and it's like a surprise bag, like a grab bag. And you're like, oh yeah. Um, this is just Tara and Sky. It's a 3XL. Uh, pair of pants and it's cotton polyester spandex they're like these stretchy skinny jeans yeah. and so I figured because they are a plus size and they're in good condition um, they might perform well I don't know Tara and Sky I don't really pick up I think it might be in Fred Meyer maybe a Fred Meyer brand but yeah I was like okay we need to add more weight and that you know whether it's consignment or selling online that'll probably do pretty well I would assume speaking of Ralph Lauren I did find a Ralph Lauren just basic it's the blue label which I think is just Ralph Lauren um, it is a Italian yarn 100% Pima cotton nice cable knit sweater in white and it does need a wash but it's pretty good Ralph Lauren blue label is their just middle basic. of the road well basic is polo ralph lauren 
Mm. Isn't it? Isn't Chaps the very like least expensive? And Chaps then, is Ralph Lauren. Yeah. I didn't I think so. I didn't know that. And then Polo. And then. It's purple, black, blue, Lauren by Ralph Lauren, which is the green label, and then Polo and whatever else is with Polo at the bottom. There's also Double RL, which is another line. Yeah. And Denim and Supply, which is a discontinued line. There's so much Ralph Lauren stuff, it's crazy. I've been mm -hmm. picking up more just basic Ralph Lauren. I used to be a lot pickier about it, but yeah. I'm finding that it sells pretty well for me right now, depending on the piece. Hmm. So these, these are two, like it feels like they might be like new, like maybe worn a few times. I actually found three of these. They are just Ann Taylor Loft medium cardigans. So this one's pink. I don't think they're a special fabric. I wouldn't advocate for picking this brand up and I didn't see good comps on these, but cardigans can sell pretty well. Um, and I also like might see about it for myself. Yeah, we were watching Riverdale and I was like, oh, like I'm seeing a lot of nice preppy like cardigans. Maybe I'll get back into the cardigan game. I used to be <laughs> all about cardigans. I had like one in every color. Anyway, long story, but yeah, this is 55% cotton, 25% modal, 20% uh, polyester. But yeah, this one's pink and this one is blue and they are in excellent condition. So I figured <clears throat> lot them myself, up. lot them up, consignment, there's options. <laughs> up to your nails. Yeah, we went to our local thrift shop here and also Goodwill mm -hmm. um, this weekend too. So we got a few things, not, not enough for like a whole video. So we'll just add them into this. Mm -hmm. um, there's yeah, there. I spotted this. This is a, a pretty nice Nike mm. windbreaker coat. Um, it has a few stains on it and things, which I'm going to work on getting out. But yeah, this is just like regular Nike. I think this might be a little bit older. Like, I don't know if it's... Oh, thank you for pointing that out. It's ripstop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's got ripstop fabric, so that's kind of cool. I think this might be a little bit older Nike, like maybe from the 2000s or 90s. I don't know if it's 90s vintage, but um, yeah, it's just a nice windbreaker. And I was seeing, it's vented on the back. Oh. Hmm? I was seeing other ones like this selling for around 40 and they only wanted three bucks for this, so. Not bad at all. Yeah. So I'll work on getting that stain out right there. Also and on the sleeve. There's honestly like we got it home and like there's a lot of stains that you couldn't see in the store. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm kind of like, oh man, like dang it. Just because I also, I have a lot of Nike stuff that we find and a lot of Nike jackets. And so I'm like, oh. I don't know, but that one does look different and special, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't see this exact color pattern much, so we might have more of a monopoly on that. That's true. With a unique color. Yeah. And uh, that's a size large men's. Yeah. We also found this Dutch Bros hat at that local thrift store. Mm -hmm. And this one was $2. There is a little stain right here, so we'll probably try to get that out. Yeah. Um, I don't know, what were we seeing? Well, it depends on where you list it. And this is cool. This is like official Dutch Bros brand hat. This is this is newer. Um, I think it's from last year. Okay. And the Dutch Bros stuff on the inside. Um, depending on where you list this, I think it was doing better on Mercari. Mm -hmm. Dutch Bros stuff seems to do better on Mercari. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Like 15 to 20, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We got it for two bucks, so it's not a bad return. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was not good on eBay, I believe. Mm. I think a lot of stuff is priced the lowest on eBay just because there's more sellers. There's more buyers, so that can be great. 
but uh, yeah, no platform is the golden perfect platform. Mm -hmm. All right, this we found at our local Goodwill store, and it is an older J. Crew tag, but it's a really desirable style. Um, it's 100% wool, size four, lined blazer, and I can look up the screenshot for the comps. It was $9.99, and I was seeing, comp I think it was 50. I think it was about 50 that I was seeing for this item on eBay, um, which was great. So, yeah, I was excited about that. I also found this Lafayette 148 jacket shirt situation <laughs> thing here um, for $7.99 and I may sell this myself. It doesn't do as well on the resale platforms that I sell on. I've only sold it once though and it sold like really quickly. So I've heard that it sits for people but I was actually thinking of getting this and sending it to thread up because it does perform better on thread up. Um, and so I was seeing like that I could get a payout of like 30 ish dollars if I sent it into thread up. Um, so paying $8 to get $30 passively. And that is what I'm interested in for this guy. Nice. $30 yeah. passive. Passive. And I want to just mention with thread up that. If you send stuff in just like the vanilla, like the straight laced way that they have it, you're gonna be waiting for a really long time. Like I sent in a bunch of stuff and it wasn't any like crazy name brand stuff and I just got $10 like basically a year later and that was like frustrating. So I'm gonna be experimenting with the brand partnership, like clean out kits where you get um, like, gift cards basically to certain stores mm. so yeah that's my new my newest experiment that's cool mm -hmm. yeah okay so that's it for the clothing that we found on that trip so we have a couple of like <laughs> that's it for the clothing that we found on that trip so now we just have a couple of accessories and then i found one record to show you so we'll start with this bag um, I found this, it's a little leather bag that was made in Scotland, and I didn't know what this was at first, and what it turns out is this is a specific kind of Scottish bag that I think is ceremonial. I believe that um, they wear this, like, I think bagpipers will wear these types of bags and stuff with their kilt and stuff for, like, ceremonial stuff. Um, and I don't remember what kind of bag this is called, but I looked it up and this was actually kind of valuable. They call it an interweave knotted bag, and that's what these little tassel things are. I'm seeing one for 25, selling for 25. Probably 20-ish for that. Yeah, probably 20 to 30. Mm. It doesn't look like it's super high quality leather. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, some of those are really expensive. Mm -hmm. I'll, throw, I'll throw this up on the screen so you can see. Just what I'm looking at here. I love how random everything is that you find yeah. in the bins and you learn about, you know, what this is called and its value on the resale market. It's interesting. Yeah, it looks like the ones that are like embossed with the cool like Celtic patterns and stuff and metal are worth a lot more. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of neat. I didn't really realize it, but then when I think about like, oh, when, when I've seen like, you know, bagpipe ceremonies and different stuff, like, oh yeah, they do have that pouch that they carry usually. Yeah. Like I remember it after I thought about, or after I saw this. Mm hmm But yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, let's see. Okay, this is the last item that we threw in our cart and it was a maybe, like we put it back because it is a, it's a coach bag that's wrecked, like really wrecked. Um, but we needed one more pound at the end. And so I was like, oh, this will work. And- It was between that and something else. And like Banana Republic, pants right so i was like eh, this is more exciting um yeah so it's it's coach it's really quality leather of course it always is but it is very wrecked like look at these scratches looks like a child got a hold of this i don't know what happened here put it through a blender 
Yeah. Um, the or a dog. top. Maybe. Um, Maybe. I don't know. This is going to be a project for me. I, yeah. I want to see if I can restore this. But, I mean, it's not completely too far gone. It's yeah. just seen way better. Seen days. better days. All the stitching looks good. Yeah. It's very quality, even for how wrecked it it's is. It's definitely so. a, it's a real coach bag. It's just sure. been yeah. wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. We will experiment with this. Maybe I'll do a video about how I'm going to go about trying to restore this. That could be interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. What The, the steps that I would take, the polishes and things I would use. So that's it for accessories. And then I found one record, and it was this. This is classical music. I think this is Time Life. Yeah, Time Life right there. It's the opulent era. Um, the story of great music. This is classical music. It's like a compilation of a bunch of different composers. Um, this would be the like, late 1800s, early 1900s. You got Brahms. Let me see. Bruckner, Offenbach, Saint-Jean, Johann Strauss, Tchaikovsky, and Wagner. Um, so yeah, there's like... There's like a bunch of different ones inside of here. Um, I think there's like four or five different records. And all of these were in like the best condition I've ever seen for a record collection. These are all like perfect. Like this has never been opened before. Or at least it's a little dusty, but yeah. There's like no scratches on any of these. Just a little bit of dust. I imagine people who listen to classical music on records are probably keep it really not gonna thrash them clean. around yeah yeah or they just like bought this and like listened to it once and right. like, put it away for 40 years <laughs> but anyways that's cool i like to listen to classical music yeah when i'm like writing usually or like if i'm studying or researching stuff it's nice to have on yeah so, so that's that i don't know what this is worth i didn't look up comps for this What's nice is this is all contained in one thing, because a lot of the times there's like 10 of these and you have to buy the whole set. It's like the Encyclopedia Britannica, but... Six dollars or best offer. Oh, so this isn't worth anything, but <laughs> it's worth... It's worth That's it one to, listing. There's a lot listed. Yeah. 10? 9 to 10? 5 to 10. Yeah. 5 to 10, but this is for me. That's for me. But man, it's been a thrifty week, a thrifty month. <laughs> like, yeah, it's been good. Yep, we've been ramping up, trying to grow our Instagram a little bit more and and the YouTube channel is steady. If you want to follow us on Instagram, it's the Nifty Thrifty Couple. Mm -hmm. um, and also, too, if you want to purchase any of the items that we've found in this video or other videos, you can go to our either Poshmark, Mercari, or eBay, like any of those platforms, mm -hmm. and send us an offer and we will, yeah, we'll either accept it or counter um, a little bit higher or whatnot. But yeah, we're willing to like move stuff out because we have a lot of inventory. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, actually we should mention that like, so right now we're actually doing a sale um, as you're seeing this video. 20% off everything in the closets because we're trying to move stuff out at the end of summer here and it's kind of like back to school season and stuff. So if you want to mm. go and look through some of that, um, all the links to our Poshmark closet and eBay and all that stuff is in our um, our about section of our YouTube channel. I'll also link it down in the description of this video. Yeah, send us, so it's 20% off. Yeah. Send us a 20% offer and we will accept. Yep, do it. <laughs> um cool yeah that's all i got for today that's all you got for today yeah cool yeah let us know in the comments what your favorite item was yeah we love interacting with you in the comments we're grateful for you watching if you liked this like it you know all that stuff um and we'll see you in the next one let's yeah, roll that yeah, outro yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye Hey, thanks again for checking out this video. If you learned something or enjoyed what you saw, please take a second to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you want more nifty thrifties in your life, 
why not subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get notified when we make new videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.